Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, average golfers, today is a beautiful day. You might be wondering why. Why is it a beautiful day, Alan? Well, back on May the 23rd, I got fitted for a new driver. And, uh, well, it is now, what, August? <laughs> We're gonna stop the sentence there. It's August. It took a long time, but shout out to my guys at Golf Galaxy out in Charlotte, which is where I got fitted. Uh, again, nothing was their fault when it came to my driver coming in, but they did make sure when I last called and they said, your driver is in the shop in a box with a label on it. I was like, what's the chances you can maybe poke the manufacturer and be like, hey, let's rush deliver this because this guy's been waiting for three months. They did two day shipping so I could have this driver ready to go for my upcoming trip. So now we get to unbox what is the new driver. We're done with that 20 plus year old King Cobra and we've upgraded into what you might be wondering. Well, how about another Cobra? Hey, <laughs> we've got the brand new one in the mix. We're gonna go out to Charlotte tonight before we fly out and uh, we're gonna hit this sucker. So let me set you up and then let's unbox this bad boy, huh? Let's do that. And there she is. I'm not gonna lie, I already feel three strokes better. Look at this dude. I'm so pumped about this though, really. I mean, we've been waiting for a minute to get this sucker in. So you're probably wondering what exactly do we have here? We did go with the brand new Cobra Rad Speed Driver, but it is the XD draw. I know a lot of you guys who've been watching are probably sick of seeing me slice stuff into the woods. I'm, I'm more sick of it. Uh, so we decided to go with this bad boy with the max draw. We also have a Fujikura Motore XF1 stiff shaft. So that's what we have in the mix and then just default grip. I, didn't, I don't really know enough about the grips too. Uh, play around with them yet. Maybe that's the next thing we go into if you're very familiar with the gripping scene Hey, maybe you can let me know in the comments below what exactly is good about the grip outside of just personal preference I don't know. Maybe there's something I'm missing there. So I'm pumped about this We do have this set to ten and a half. It does go between nine and twelve degrees So we've got the ability to play around with this if we so want to but it is default set to ten and a half Now a lot of you guys when I was talking about this driver upgrade on the course You're probably wondering how exactly did I come about making this decision? decision when I got fit. Of course, they played around with different shaft lengths as well as different clubs overall and then also different stiffness and things of that nature. So this is a stiff shaft mostly because it takes away a lot of the spin which is of course what I generate on the ball when I'm slicing. When I went off and I was hitting clubs, we were between this Cobra and we were between the new Taylor, uh, Taylor made Sim 2 draw driver as well. I was hitting the Cobra about five to seven yards on average shorter than the Sim 2. But the thing and why I decided to use this club was the dispersion from left to right was essentially zero. I, I was hitting it within a 10 yard gap almost every single time. The Sim 2, I was hitting closer to 280. But if that 280 is 280 yards into the woods, that doesn't really make much of a difference to me, right? So that was what was in my mind when I was going back and forth and deciding what club did I want to get. And that's one of the reasons why I think if you're questioning if you're going to get fitted or if you want to get fitted, should you? I really do think it is important. Um, I mean, this is my first taste of it. I can't wait to go and do irons and wedges. I uh, also need to do my three wood at some point in time since we're still dealing with a very basic kind of generic store-bought set of clubs. But just from doing the driver alone, I went from hitting my current driver on carry average about 240 to hitting this thing closer to 275. So the big take was is like, what was important about getting fitted? You're not taking any gambling chances. I tried the Mizuno driver, I tried the Callaway driver, I tried the TaylorMade, and I tried this Cobra. Um, that was about as much as I really felt like I needed. I'm not a Ping fan, so I didn't really wanna go down that road. The top two ended up being the Cobra, as well as the TaylorMade Sim 2. And how I decided there, we weren't even playing around with shafts yet. I was just seeing how I liked the sound and the feel of the club itself. So those were the big key factors as far as how I got down to those two. Then we started playing around with the shaft length. We knew we were gonna be going stiff pretty much from the very beginning because I'm old, but I'm not that old. And on top of that, we also recognized that I was actually swinging with a little bit too long of a club shaft. So we started playing around with a couple of different options between the two. We would just pick a shaft and then interchange it between which actual driver head that we were using. Ended up figuring out that yes, the Cobra dispersion with this shaft was the best option. Took a little bit of a breather, went back at it, hit five more full out shots with both clubs just to see what it looked like 
same situation. The Cobra just won every single time. Now that was just for me personally. Don't go in with the precognitive ideas as far as what you think is gonna be the best driver for you. Because for me, one of the reasons why I think the TaylorMade stayed in competition as long as it did when it came to selecting my driver was because in my mind, I knew that it had max draw, I knew that it had a lot of settings that it could change it when it's tilt, and I was like, that's gonna be my club because I can absolutely do whatever I want to it. And honestly speaking, even though we did play around with those settings, we still hit the Cobra by far the best. So. Don't go in with any precognitive ideas as far as what you think is gonna be your driver. If you're going to go get fitted or if you think you should go get fitted, go in with an open mind. I will say the guy that was taking care of me at Golf Galaxy, I told him from the beginning, I was like, look, I'm buying a club, no matter what happens, after this. So give me everything, because I will buy something from you when we're done here. If you know for a fact that you need an upgrade in your bag, I would highly suggest going in there and being like, hey, I need to get fitted. I am gonna buy something for you. I just wanna make sure it's absolutely perfect. And they'll typically be a little bit more open as far as how much you're hitting. There was a guy who was next to me that, the, the guy that was helping him, I think only hit like two different types of drivers, like two different types of shafts. I hit like four different types of shafts, four or five different actual driver clubs. And I think it was because that guy knew for a fact I was gonna purchase from him. So little tip of the trade from there. But let's stop talking. Cut to the action, cut to the music. Let's go hit some bombs. All right, fam, we're at Top Golf in Charlotte. It's time to give this thing its first honorary wax. Should be good. See what happens. strikes with the brand new driver. Not gonna lie, it bombs. <laughs> uh, it feels good, I'm not gonna lie, for sure. Uh, after coming off of a old, old, very old driver, hitting something brand new definitely feels fresh, for sure. So, that said, why we were in such a rush to hit it, we've got ourselves a bit of a travel coming up. We'll be in Denver, we're playing Fossil Trace, Hopefully doing a full course vlog for that. But then we'll also be in LA for a couple of times. Hopefully get on the course at least twice. Uh, probably twice. That's the whole goal coming up. So a lot coming to the channel. A lot of exotic stuff as compared to the mountain golf that you've seen so far with the brand new driver. Let's hope it all swings well, hits straight. All the things that you would love to see of a driver. But hey, if you love what we're doing here on the channel, make sure you like, subscribe, come back, things like that. Till next time. Stay perfectly average. So long.